sometimes when I'm editing, I think I end up laughing at the stuff. Oh, what myself? I know I have a winner. I've been doing Thai photography for about uh, six years. I started off as a joke where I saw uh, this figure lying around and I just put it on the, on the window ledge and then it looks like he is overlooking the neighborhood. Then it looks kind of real and after I posted on uh, Instagram, that's when I discovered the community. Overseas, the, the community is actually quite big. Uh, if you do a, a hashtag search on toy photography, it's close to about a million posts so far and, uh, and it's growing. Uh. Some of the shots are pretty amazing and I was quite inspired to uh, get more serious into the hobby. Uh. When I started, I just took pretty quick shots with my mobile phone. But over time, I, I realized that uh, I wanted to do more than that. So lighting to me is, is super important and it really does make a bland looking shot into something very cinematic. With simple one light setup, with just a correctly placed light, is sometimes all you need to get that winning shot. So the whole concept of this is that the alien is trying to be a better parent. I also enjoy the process of making props, so I just do a color printout and then uh, make sure it's to scale. Probably this will be the book that he should pick up, uh, how to be a great dad for dummies. So, so that, that will be a good punchline for this photo. Uh. I thought I sprinkle it with some of these crystals. It's a very nice uh, layer of texture and it looks like an alien landscape. I use a mist to generate the atmosphere. It's supposed to be some mean looking monster, but you know, it's actually uh, struggling with parenthood like everybody else. <laughs> you can use everyday household objects for any kind of props or setup. So if you want to make things fly, you're going to need wire, blue tag, and then you secure your toys to the blue tag and then you secure the other end of the wire to the ground. To add more effect and energy, you need to move the surrounding environment. So to do that, we have uh, things like a uh, keyboard cleaner where we shoot the dust and then we generate a kind of a debris uh, so it will look more energetic in the shot. Layer some baking soda so that the characters have more texture, they don't look so clean in the environment. Uh. Okay, ready? Yeah? Okay, the Snow Troopers are one of my favorite characters. For the Star Wars set, it has elements of uh, dust and how to make characters fly. So I also like to create scenes that you don't see in a movie because uh, then there's something interesting rather than a recreation of a scene. I, I enjoy making uh, props and stuff from household item and I receive uh, packages, then they have a uh, brown paper packing that I can actually curl around and crush it and then it looks like a cave uh, if you, at the scale. Uh. I have a collection of different types of material like soy, cement powder for moon surfaces, plaster to create a uh, landscape for snowscape, foam boxes, I will just cut them, paint them over you know, brown colour to look like uh, some alien landscape or it can be a forest and then you use uh, twigs because uh, twigs at that scale look like trees to the toy. Uh. So basically I collect any kind of figures that will fit my story. Uh. Because I'm not really, I'm more a photographer than a collector. The community is always uh, very uh, willing to share because I feel that uh, techniques are one thing that everybody can pick up. But the uh, ideas and concepts and all that are more difficult to come up with. So it's pretty much up to your imagination how you see and perceive everyday objects, how they fit into the shot. Yeah.